Ai rā nei, ka mahi tahi anoa hi treiria me Aotearoa i raro i te mana ANZAC ki a pai ai te pakanga atu ki a ISIS. Koe rā te pātai e rere ana i te takiwā i tēnei wā i ngā whenua e rua e whiriwhiri ana me nā kā tono i ngā rākau kawa o tēnei pito o te ao ki te kakari atu ki te opetau wā ISIS. Kei a pere wīhongi ngā whakamārama. Kua puta te whakāro, he oi ka mana rā nei te kōrero. We had a couple of, I'd say, you know, pretty high-level discussions about it. Just said, look, you know, is it possible? The answer is yes, it's potentially possible that we could have an ANZAC badge force. Tōna rautau nei te roa i takahia tahitia ngā hoia o Aotearoa me ahi treiria i ngā takutai o Karipuri. Kwa faka ora no pe a te wairua o ANZAC, he oi he hoariri rere ke ko ngā kaitaua Islamic State i Iraq. One argument would simply be the symbolism of a hundred years of commemorations for Gallipoli. He oi a no te ratau na ki mō e tahi atu. Romanticising this deployment and using the backdrop of our commemorating what is this nation's greatest military disaster is thoroughly inappropriate. Ko te o te ngā iho, me nā rā nei ka haere tonu e nei whakaritenga, kei te takiwa o te whātekau ki te kotahi rau hoia no Aotearoa ka kuhu atu. The statement's from the very same man who wants to get rid of the very New Zealand flag that those soldiers fought under. I find it quite offensive, actually. We're not stupid. Hei te timatanga o tērā tau e whakapai ana ka puta mai tēnei whakatau. It's time right now for the Prime Minister to be open and honest with New Zealanders and tell us, tell everybody what he's planned and what he's agreed to. Kati, ko te hokinga mai pea tēnei o ngā rōpū e NZEC i a mātau e whakarite ana mo te rautau i ko tahi ai ngā whenua e rua i raro i te pakanga. Pere Wihongi, te karere.